Ever wondered what are these movable surfaces on a fighter jet? In today's video, we are going to talk about the surface areas of fighter jets, which will help you to understand how fighter jets fly, take turns, take off and do smooth landing. The wings of a fighter jet are attached to the fuselage and are extended out from either side. Most fighter jets have a high wing configuration, where the wings are mounted on top of the fuselage. The main function of the wings is to provide lift to keep the aircraft in the air, which they do so by creating a difference in the air pressure between the upper and lower surface of the wing. Wings are also able to provide aerodynamic benefits such as maneuverability, speed and stability. Flaps, slats, and ailerons are all features incorporated in the wings that enables a fighter jet to perform complex moves. Flaps are movable surfaces that are located on the trailing edge of the wings. Their main purpose is to adjust the lift and drag of the aircraft for it to take off and land safely. During takeoff, flaps are extended downwards to increase the lift and decrease the speed required for the aircraft to become airborne. During landing, Flaps are extended downwards and backwards to increase the drag and decrease the speed of the aircraft. Slats are also movable surfaces on the wings just like flaps, but they are found on the leading edge of the wings, where the wings meet the fuselage. Slats are typically used in conjunction with flaps to provide maximum lift during takeoff and landing. Ailerons are located near the outer edges of the wings and are used to roll the aircraft to the left or to the right. They work in pairs, with one aileron moving upwards while the other one moving downwards. This allows the lift and drag on the wings to be altered which is essential for maneuvering. When a jet has to roll to the right, the right aileron moves upwards and the left aileron moves downwards. This creates a difference in lift between the wings, with an increased lift on the left wing, causing the aircraft to roll to the right. Another controlling surface is the elevator, which can be seen on the horizontal tail of a fighter jet. It is used to control the pitch of the aircraft, which is the rotation of the aircraft around its lateral axis. This causes the jet to climb or descend. When a pilot wants to pitch the aircraft up, both elevators move up simultaneously, creating an increased downwards force on the tail and causing the aircraft's nose to rotate upwards. Similarly, while pitching down, both elevators are deflected downwards, rotating the aircraft's nose downwards. While going up, pilot will typically increase the throttle setting to maximum power and pitch the nose of the aircraft to high angle of attack, whereas he will be doing the opposite while going vertically down. The throttle, angle of attack and other controlling surfaces are constantly changed to make sure that the jet doesn't lose control One of the controlling surfaces is the rudder, which is located on the vertical tail fin of the fighter jet. It is used to control the yaw of the aircraft or the rotation of the aircraft around its vertical axis. Air flowing over the vertical tail fin is deflected, which generates a force that causes the jet to rotate around its vertical axis. 
By deflecting the rudder to one side or the other through foot pedals, a pilot can control the yaw of the aircraft and change the direction of the flight. In F-16, electronic flight control system is used rather than the traditional mechanical linkage. This makes sure of more precise control and faster response time. The elevator system is designed as a two-part horizontal tail with a movable section at the rear of each half. This is connected to the control stick in the cockpit. When the control stick is moved forward or backward, elevator surfaces move up or down, causing the aircraft to pitch up or down. F-22 also uses an electronic flight control system, but the difference is that the entire horizontal tail moves as a single unit in order to control the pitch and roll. Pilot's inputs are transmitted to aircraft's flight control computer, which processes the signals and sends commands to the elevators and other control surfaces. This pair of surface area is called air brakes at the back of F-16. These brakes help to reduce the speed of F-16 during landing. The air brakes open up at the time of landing while remain closed otherwise. This was the walk around of wings, which has shown us how important the wings are to the fighter jet and how their features allow the pilots to make rapid moves with complete control.